Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So let's start off with Britney Spears. Now she got a W yesterday because um, she was able to get her father removed or suspended from her conservatorship. But she did get, um, you know, a temporary person put on. Um, I believe his name is John a uh, Abel or something like that. With that being said, I did do a reading on Britney Spears and the whole conservatorship um, a few months back. And I did say that, um, you know, it was going to be hard for her to remove, you know, everybody from the conservatorship. There's more than one person and it's going to be hard for her to get out of the conservatorship. I didn't really see her getting out of the conservatorship fully. Um, I'll let you guys watch that reading. I did that a few months ago, but I will say this, um, maybe if, uh, Britney Spears shows a little bit more independence because she wants somebody to kind of control her day to day. Um, it's a woman that works for her. She wants her to kind of control the day to day finances and stuff like that and day to day routine. If she showed a little bit more independence, I think it will be easy for them to remove it. You know, I did hear that allegedly she does struggle a little bit mentally. Um, she went through a lot in Hollywood, so that could be the reason why. But I wanted to see Britney Spears win. She's still the princess of pop to me. You know, I like Britney, and I want to see her win. So let me know what you guys think about that. Moving on to Cardi B. Um, you know, I got back that she does have records with Lil Baby in the stash that will probably never come out. Now, a few years ago, Lil Baby said that, you know, him and Cardi B were going to do something together. But since, you know, he allegedly smashed Offset's baby mamas and he snatched Offset's chain. Okay, nobody wants to bring that up. She, he snatched up Offset's chain. Did Offset even get that back? Um, you know, there's, you know, beef between, you know, the Migos and little baby. So Cardi B and little baby probably won't be collabing anytime soon. Um, but let me know if you guys would like to hear Cardi B and little baby. I would just like to hear how it would sound. Okay. Because, you know, little baby is fire to me. You know, Cardi B got some bars, you know, but I don't really like it when uh, Partisan kind of writes for her all the time. I think sometimes she sounds better when she doesn't have Partisan because sometimes he repeats, you know, lyrics. He always wants to throw shots at the queen, you know, so I think she needs to find a different writer. I know she likes Party, but he needs to go. Um, but I did hear that, you know, Roddy Rich and Cardi B... Got a collaboration. Now, I told y'all about this collaboration a few months back, if y'all remember. You guys can kind of go look that up. Um, but um, I'm hearing that Roddy Rich he needs a hit. He needs a hit record. Um, 2021 was a little cold for him for whatever reason. You know, he was popping in 2019, 2020. But 2021, he released that one single. It didn't really make a lot of noise. And so he's trying to get his hits together. And who is better to give him a hit than the playlist favorite, you know, because she gets played on the radio a lot. So let me know what you guys think about that. Would you guys be here for a Cardi B and Roddy Rich collaboration? OK, it's going to be interesting to see who Cardi B collaborates with in the next you know, year or so, because I heard a few people um, that she collaborates with, you know, few people are not going to be too happy about that. But I think Roddy Rich and Cardi B are both under Atlantic. So that collaboration makes a lot of sense. Okay. I'm actually shocked he hasn't collaborated with Megan Thee Stallion, but you never know. Okay. That could be a collaboration that happens in the future. Cause I believe that he shouted her out before. So, you know, we just going to have to wait and see. I'm, you know, wary about the collaborations because I want to, I want it to sound good because I'm a fan of Little Baby and Roddy Rich, but I don't really care if it comes out or not, you know. Okay, so let's move on from Cardi B to you know the pop star Taylor Swift. Okay, now I got back that they want Taylor Swift out of here. Okay. 
um, because Taylor Swift is trying to obtain ownership of all her music. Now she has been re-recording a lot of her music because Scooter Braun, you know, bought her masters, then sold it. So that way she couldn't get it back. And so now she's re-recording all her, her old music and, you know, selling it like it's new and it's selling decently. You know, Taylor Swift does big numbers, um, like, you know, 500,000 a million a week. And so they do not want her going independent. And so the fact that, you know, she's thinking about going independent, obtaining ownership, putting her own money behind her projects, which she's low key been doing for a while now. Even before this whole Scooter, Scooter Braun incident, you know, she was putting her own money behind certain music videos, okay, because, you know, her budget was so big, but she wanted to spend millions upon millions on, you know, um, videos all the time. So with that being said, you know, the industry is not too happy about that. Three people that could never go independent as long as they're hot is Drake, Adele, and Taylor Swift. They will never be able to go independent successfully. You know, you know, once they do that, the industry will try to sabotage them because you're making too much money. Imagine if Taylor Swift is completely independent and um, does a million copies for his week. That all that money goes to her. OK, she don't got to you know, cut her check with nobody because, you know, usually unless she gets, you know, producers and stuff like that, you know, the producers got to get paid, you know, the writers got to get paid. But after that, you know, the check goes back to her. Okay. And they do not want that. They want to keep these artists money. Okay. So if I was Taylor Swift, I would do a partnership with maybe another record label. Okay. Currently she's on big machine record label. Um, but the last few projects have been strictly independent because she's trying to record all her new, her old music and sell it like new. So that way, you know, the artists, not the artists, the fans, they buy the new re-recorded music and not the old music. And, you know, she also made people look at Scooter Braun sideways. A lot of people do look at Scooter Braun sideways because they feel like, you know, he was being mean to Taylor Swift. So let me know what you guys think about that. Should Taylor Swift, you know, go fully independent? I think that if she does that, the industry, the music industry ain't going to be too happy. I'm already hearing that they're trying to push her out because she's making plans to go fully independent. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day.